Welcome to another tutorial by Video Excel. In this tutorial, we will be looking at print areas, how to manually define them, clear them, and how we can use it to our advantage. The reason why you would want to manually define print areas is when you have some piece of information that you do not want to print out or when you want to limit the scope of the print area. Now, in this example, without making any changes, let's go to File. And uh, if I go ahead and click on Print, you'll notice that it's going to that it's going to print out the phone numbers, the emails, the name and serial number. But let's just say if, I, but what if I don't want to have the phone number printed out? One way to do this is I can select the data that I do want to print out. I can go to file, print, and I can select print selection from the settings option. And it will not print the phone number. The only problem with this approach is that I will have to do this every time. So in order to save time, what I could do is I can just keep my selection because this is the data that I want to print. I can go to page layout, print area, and I can click on set print area. Now, it doesn't matter where I am in the spreadsheet. When I go ahead and click on file print, it is only going to print the area that um, uh, that has been predefined included it didn't show anything because I had it set to uh, print selection but uh, but your default setting is always going to be print active sheet um, and you will notice that the phone number here is not included because that hasn't been defined as the print area um, you can always go back and you can clear the print area and you can always add to the print area so um, if I click on print area and it, uh, I can go ahead and click on clear print area and it will set everything back to uh, it's a def you might have noticed a dashed line that appears between um, column E and F and it just bothers me a lot the problem is that it has nothing to do with print area or the area that you've selected this is it's, it's only showing you the boundary of the page and to get rid of this what you will have to do is you will have to go to file options and then you will click on advanced and I think you have to scroll down here mm, right under display options for this worksheet um, and you have to uncheck this box that says show page breaks and if I click on OK now, that line will disappear, which is exactly what I wanted. So let's go ahead and take a look at another example. Now in this example, um, we have a lot of data. And I know if I print out this data, it's not going to print out on one sheet. Uh, let me show you an example. I don't do anything over here. I, if I just go to File and Print, you will notice is that the column header will be only printed on the first page. Um, so it says the, um, it, it shows me the number, um, the gender, and uh, the last column is the state. Uh, you may not be able to see this very well, uh, but this is a preview. I don't believe there's a way to zoom into the preview. One of the things that I would like to have is the column header printed on every page, on top of every page. Um, and, and even in addition to that, I might have some columns, um, say the number column or the name column, I might want to have those printed out on every piece of paper as well. Um, there are 66 pages. And uh, let's just quickly uh, scroll through these. Uh, you will notice that after a couple of pages, these numbers are going to disappear because it's printing the information that it can fit on one piece of paper. So right here, we don't see the serial number of the person. We don't see their name, but we do see some other information, but you can't make any sense of this information if the name of the person is not listed on this page. So there are two things that I would like to do. I would want to have the um, column headers printed on top of every page and I would like to have the name and the serial number of the person listed on to the uh, left side of the page. So let's go ahead and see how we can do that. Going back to the sheet, um, for me to customize the print layout of this spreadsheet, what I have to do is I have to click on print titles. What this will give me 
is an option uh, where I can set the print area, which I'm not going to do. I'm just going to leave that to the default setting, but I will customize the rows that I would like to repeat at the top. And the row that I would like to repeat on top of every page is the first row. Now, <clears throat> I know that this is going to kick out an error. Um, the columns that I need to repeat on the left are the serial number. And I also want to print out the, um, the, the given name of the person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on control and I'm going to click on E. But this is not going to work. If I click on OK, it's going to spit out an error and it's going to tell me that you cannot do this because um, the columns have to be contiguous columns. You can't just randomly select different columns. I think we're okay on the rows because the row that we're printing is the first one. The, for the columns, I will have to move things around if I was to accomplish this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move column E right next to column A. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to select column E and then I'm going to move the mouse cursor into, until it changes into a move icon and then I'm going to click, hold, drag, hold down the shift key and let go right here. So now I have the serial number and the given name right next to each other. So let's go ahead and repeat that process. I'm going to click on uh, print titles uh, for the row. I want to have the first row repeated on every sheet. And then for the columns, I want to have the first two columns repeated on every sheet. And now I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And let's go to file, print, <clears throat> and look at the preview. Now you'll see that on the first page, the, um, the number, the given name, the gender, and all of the column headings are printed on the first page. Let's move on to the second one. There's the second one, third one, fourth one. And preview, you can see that the column headings are there on every page. Um, but if I scroll down, I'm gonna scroll down. Um, yeah, right now the, the last column in the preview is the city. I'm going to scroll down to where it changes to telephone. But what you'll notice is that the first two columns will always be there. The number and the given name. That is not going to change. Um, and I could be even at the last page right here. Um, and it will still have the number and the given name because those were the two columns that I selected that I want to have printed on every page. So that's how you can use the print areas and the print titles to your advantage and you can customize your outputs and uh, if you have any questions about the tutorial make sure that you leave them in the comment section and i will get to your questions as uh, soon as possible and if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time